That's <laughs> definitely Nikki Misery, looking his most miserable. I uh, I remember with, with this photo shoot, I wanted to do something that was like similar to to my style and the band at the time, but do something that of like that wasn't at the same time. Just have like a little bit more color. Just I remember making this jacket like the night before and like spray painting the scarf and just to have something that was like. We found that jacket at a thrift store too. Yeah. And like you were adding pins and stuff to it, but we. We found that at thrift store. Yeah. What, did you spray paint the, the stripes on it? No, it no. was it had stripes. But I spray painted the uh, jacket. The scarf thing I did it was like this white like meshy scarf with like these little stars on it. I just started spray painting it black, and it stunk real bad. And look, you've got like seven comments on that photo. I got seven. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this was definitely War Tour 2017. Yeah. I very much enjoy jumping into the crowd. Then a lot of times where like they were they wouldn't even hold me up anymore, and I would just fall down. But I remember just like just fall straight on my back. And you get so much adrenaline, you just pop back up. And I remember some of them say like, "Would you see my guitar head like fly back up?" When I look at this photo, I definitely think of our Motley Crue phase. Yeah. We call it the Motley Crue phase not because we were like, "Oh, let's look like Motley Crue." It's just that's what it looks like to us, so we call it the Motley Crue phase. But I think it was like just looking like rock and roll trash. Yeah. Basically yeah, like a rock world. and roll hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just true, like that that look and that feel and that whole like grimly deathly look really fit with like the album at the time. Too. Do you ever miss the makeup? All the time, yeah. You do miss the makeup? I do. I do miss the I, I do miss that looks. I I'm, He would literally take lipstick and it. rub his fingers on it and then just go like that and I'd be like Okay, <laughs> like if that's what you wanna look like. <laughs> and and the mis the misconception is that I've made the guys wear the makeup and it could not be further from the, the truth. truth. Yeah. Yeah. I was asking them, I was like, guys, like maybe we should reel it in. They're like, no, they got mm. lipstick like this. What is this phase? What the the look and fly but still kick your ass phase. I, well, I'm like thinking like if it was equated to like a band. Um Ooh, no no, we're we're like uh what do you call it yesterday? Like our opposite Clockwork Orange. Oh. We're like an all black droogs now. Yeah, I feel like we, yeah, okay. Like, I'm, we're the Clockwork Orange phase right now. Or Clockwork Black. It's a uniform, but slightly different in each person, and it's very simple. Oh, wow. Uh, this reminds me of like the funnest year of my life. That was like, so I'm really pale compared to this too. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, that was just the best summer ever. These two girls changed my life. And I don't know if they even realize what an impact they have on me specifically, but Lizzie and Maria are just two class acts, beautiful women, so talented, so driven, so positive, so supportive. What a what a what a good year that was. Just being acknowledged as an equal, because you know that's something we've fought for for so long. When I say equality, I don't mean female male. I don't mean that. I mean. Um, just overall, in all the choices New Year's Day has made, the fact that we do have a female singer, the fact that our our stage performances can be more on the flamboyant side of things, and um, the way we looked for many, many years, um, we were considered very um, ugly, I guess you could say. The type of music we played wasn't, we, we never played what was popular. You know, like, oh, there was like the hardcore phase or the emo phase, like we never played what was cool at the time. And so we always fought to like, it felt like we were always fighting to be a member of the cool kids club, I guess you could say. And for the first time, it felt like we belonged on this tour. Oh, this was the best. Oh, cool. That was a really fun all press awards because I got to do a couple, right? But that year, that was a good year. I felt like a million bucks in this dress. Like I just felt like queen of the universe. I got to present Baby Metal with Jeffree Star, oh, yeah, that's right. and he gave me some amazing advice um, backstage, like business advice, and was so sweet and such a doll. And I just felt, talk about fitting in, like it felt like we fit in that year. Oh! Oh, snap crackle! Look how proud oh, you wow. are! Yeah. So this is us on tour, I can tell, because I don't know, I don't know how I can tell. But we're on tour, <laughs> and uh, Every time we had days off, we would usually hang out at either Walmarts or malls. And every time we go into a mall, we'd stop at the local Hot Topic and see if they had a New Year's Day shirt. And luckily, this one did, so they did not get yelled at. But as you can tell with my smile, I'm very happy. Um, you can tell by my hands, I'm holding up the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Oh. This oh, is recent. This, recent one, this is recent. This is this tour. This is Rhea Ripley. And she's an up and coming WWE wrestler. And she's a badass. And I'm not saying that because I sang her theme song. She is incredible. And I think she's going to go all the way. I think in a year or two, you're going to see her main stage on WrestleMania. She is, she's like a rock star to me. And um, what's really cool about her is her favorite bands are Motionless and White, um, Suicide Silence, uh, New Year's Day, Falling in Reverse. And I was like, oh my God, we're the, we're the same. You're just me in WWE and I'm you in this world. And she is really amazing. And her message is really cool. I love strong women. I love female empowerment. I love female supporting each other. So I was very honored, but I was supposed to perform the theme song live on um, NXT when she was gonna wrestle, but she uh, broke her foot and um, we interviewed each other instead. When we were writing the record for, or writing songs for the record Unbreakable, I was being flown all over the country to write with different songwriters. And I was flown to New York to write with a songwriter who's essentially just a pop guy. And he, was, he had this beautiful studio, it's right in Times Square. And he's writing with me for a little bit and he goes, I don't really get you. He's like, I love your voice, but I don't get the kind of music you need and I don't think I can help you. And he goes, but there's two metal dudes down the hallway. Should we knock on their door? And I was like, well, yeah, sure. So we ended up writing a song that day called Done With You that's on the album. And it turns out those two dudes write the theme songs for WWE. And they go, we love your voice. If a theme song ever comes up, we would really like you to do it. And a year later, they go, we have a theme song for you. If you can record it. I was like, hell yeah, definitely lay it on me. And it was hers. It's definitely something that is, looks like going to happen. I mean, you never know. It was supposed to happen next month and then she, she uh, hurt her ankle. So I don't wanna say it's for sure, for sure. But um, when you get an email from Triple H, I know, and he says, I'm so sorry. We're, to make up for it, we'll post about Unbreakable on all the WWE socials. Like, I'm just like, what the hell? Um, and they did, they posted it. And I was like over the moon about it. It's crazy. Um, the coolest thing that's ever happened to me, freaking ever, that's what this makes me think of. I hadn't even, wasn't even into bands when I was reading AP and I would dream about what that was like. And then even 10 years ago, I was um, doing these things called vision boards where every January you make a board of all the goals you have that year and I'd put a cover of AP Magazine on it. And like, okay, that's my goal, that's my goal. And it's still crazy to me that like, that happened. Nuts. Can we just focus on that last comment? She is a freak, crazy girl. Come on, fuck you. Like your post to like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really wanted to go into what like, like how what stoked does it I am. Mean? <laughs> she is a freak, crazy girl. Come on, fuck you. Like your post, like it. Yeah, All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Whatever you said, but I, I'm oddly enough, I'm, I'm with you. Hey, what's up? We're New Year's Day, and if you want to see more videos of us and other bands that you like, make sure to like and subscribe to the fuck. Hey, what's up? We're New Year's Day. If you want to... <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? We're New Year's Day, and to see more videos of us and your other favorite bands, make sure to like and subscribe to APTV.